Hello everybody, Indigo Priestess here. Yeah? Okay, um, so you guys saw the topic and I just um, wanted to share this amazing experience. Um, you know, you guys know I, I often do this. I often, you know, talk about my experience with the Goetia and just how much they impact my life. And, you know, everybody in life goes through hardships. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a sorcerer. You know, just any individual. You know, in general, we all go through hard times. And, you know, this particular day, I was feeling quite down. And, um, you know, as I always do, if I'm feeling down, you know, I go into invocation and... You know, I discuss what I'm feeling with the ancients and this particular day I, you know, I decided to um, go into invocation with my patron, Belial, as long as, as well, sorry, as the sun god who most of you know as Lucifer. So, yeah, I decided to do an invocation and I just stated my case I stated what I was feeling why I was feeling the way I was feeling you know um, you know just being humble just coming in great respect and letting letting them know the pain that I was in and and the fact that I did not feel you know myself and I remember you know just getting this deep sense of of relief uh, during this invocation and the next thing I knew I had Belial in his famous outfit um, you know his black cloak that he likes to wear with his hoodie um, you know just appear before me and he bent down and he basically you know he told me drink of my cup drink of the cup of strength and you know it was such a powerful experience um of course i drank of his cup i drank of this beautiful chalice you know filled with you know all i can say is you know this beautiful riches cup of blood I've ever seen in my life and you know the amount of you know it doesn't matter how many years we we invoke and evoke or do things you know it it never ceases to surprise you or put you in awe when you have these amazing experiences with the ancients and you know, all I can say is no matter what situation you are experiencing right now, no matter how hopeless it looks, sometimes we can find that we so deep in our despair, in our pain, that we cannot see the light that lies behind it, that lies at the end of the despair. And if you having this situ if you're experiencing this or you know perhaps you are feeling down right now, I urge you to do an invocation to to experience the ancients, lay down what you are experiencing, come in great respect, humble yourself and let them know the pain that you are in. Let them know what you are feeling, you know, be truthful and I have no doubt that they will appear you know so many sorcerers out there you know I would say the ones that don't often invoke or or get to experience certain things won't really understand you know what I say but I've got many others who do understand what I'm saying um you know, others that I work closely with and, 
you know, lies with, um, that these entities are not the vicious type of entities that they were demonized to be. That your experience with them can be one that you have never experienced before. Complete blessings, you know, in your life. And I'm not talking about riches or, you know, what you can gain. I'm talking about basically just the riches in the experience in in growing closer to them with you becoming more enlightened. Of course, wealth is something that is not far off um, from this path. And a lot of sorcerers will agree with me there. It's when you work with these, when you are going through your awakening experience, because we are never, uh, you know, at that point, especially in one lifetime where we are just knowing it all. When we are going through an awakening experience, um, you will realize when you seek spiritual growth, everything else follows it, which is everything you've ever desired. And, you know, I just, like I said, if you guys are feeling down, if you're feeling broken, I urge you to come before the ancients, to not despair. You know, sometimes we all know things can get really tough. But the truth is, when you have the ancients on your side, they really do give you strength. Um, it's not just about faith when it comes to working with and having relationships with the ancients. Um, when it comes to the left-hand path, you know, we also get to live out our desires. So we can have faith, but the truth is, on this path, we can have faith and we can know that we're going to experience it. Um, so, yeah, it just the whole experience, I, I wasn't going to make a video on it, uh, but I just felt, you know, pushed to just let you guys know that when you are down, know that these ancients are there to help. Um, obviously, I was not expecting, you know, to be given the amazing opportunity to drink from Belial's chalice. Uh, but I was given the opportunity and it was amazing the amount of strength I felt and hope and courage and beauty was profound. And I urge everybody else to break away from that fear and welcome these amazing entities into your life. And just don't be afraid. Just, you know, walk the path. Walk it. You know, if you are nervous about it, I, I do offer consultations. And you are more than welcome to speak to me and I will guide you through it. Um, but definitely, I urge people to stop being so mind controlled. And start just following your heart. Tap a bit more into your primal side. Um, because being mind control, we are often, um, you know, not at our full potential of achieving that which we have always desired. Um, so, yeah, I hope this video encouraged everybody to not be afraid uh, to invoke and that the ancients are just a call away. So if you have any situation that you find yourself in don't be afraid to call on them because i can assure you they will definitely assist you so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i will definitely be making more videos ciao dot scenes have a good evening